Hi, this is Bill again, and this is uh, video number nine. So it's taken a while to draw this here thing. Admittedly, even the, the base, the walls weren't drawn on the video. That's how long things seem to take. So I'm just going to put these ridge ones, cappings on over there. And they might be a bit of a problem in a way. Not really. Um, but you just have to work out what that angle is. Um, I think you can just do a naughty thing here. Hmm, 22 and a half. Obviously, obviously 22 and a half. So we just go copy this guy here. out into the wilderness somewhere and we rotate him by 22.5 so he's the right way so now all we have to do is maneuver our UCS so that um, we'll rotate our Z by the Z there's probably better ways of doing this, but anyway, this is one way. 22.5. So now we're running up that way. Now we need to... Let's have that. Where's that gone? There it is there. See, that, that's actually putting the icon right, right there. So you can go UCS icon. No origin. I like, I like it being no origin. Because it pops it back down over there so you can actually see where the heck you are. So, what we need to do is to flip that round so that it's running, the wire's running up where the Z is at the moment. And to do that, we just run it round on the X axis. And if you're careful, you can just pop it like that so it comes up. So we now we go plan, type in the word plan, hit enter. So now we're running correctly. And we'll move move that. Not move with a little bit. I've got my microphone in front of my keyboard here. That's my excuse. I'm not going to use old age as an excuse. It gets worn out. Okay, so on there, so we could pop him on there. And rotate him such that base point is there. Reference. So you have to key the base point in again. And somewhere out there and down there like that. And of course that's going to be too... <sighs> so now what... What angle is that? We could... Well, we could just figure out what that angle is. Right. And right, rotate our use... That's what I'm thinking now, is to rotate the UCS down so I can pull that down nice and evenly. So, hit that angle there 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 16.7 so we go into these are x and y so we go around the z minus 16.7 so now when we push move this back it pushes back nicely we're not going to be very worried about how, how good that fits into there. It's probably good enough for what we do. So, now when we go top again, see it resets the UCS back to where it should be. And this here, hmm, it should, it should be centralised along there, so that's fine. We'll just do the old Z, Z one trick again. Um, what did I say? 22.5 and 
move that fella there by his midpoint of that'll do and then the dot y of this point here so we're pulling it down and bing it's all nicely done let's have a look and see if it shades out hmm looks like we buried it too much where is that why would that be nice up there so what's happened to the dear little thing uh, we could probably just cheat a little bit here um, temptation is to do it properly but my other temptation is just to fudge it let's have a look and you see you can't tell from that you, you're just not in the race are you it doesn't look like it's down by much. Ah, that's because we found out that the angle between there and there is not the same. So my temptation is to say, well, it's not the same, but let's not get too carried away, and I'll just shave it off at the top. So if I move that, just so she comes right to there, now, up the top would be a different story, wouldn't it? Um, hmm. Because we're going to have that effect up there, aren't we? I think what we're going to have to do is shave that off and put a little piece on top of there. In real life, you wouldn't, but... Uh, we just want something that looks vaguely presentable in, in a rendering. So slice him off. That guy there. About the end of the roof somewhere. And the roof somewhere. So he's done off, right? So, yeah, we always do is shave them off a little bit. Slice him off. There, or a bit lower, maybe. Yeah, we'll try that one first, see what happens. A bit of shading. It doesn't look too bad. I mean, you won't see that from... Only if you're from above would you see that. So, I think I'll just call that a win. Not a very big win, but it'll have to do... So if we go mirror, mirror him about this guy here... Move that midpoint... Yep. So there we have it. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty ugly looking up there. But that's basically what's going to happen. So there we are. Maybe I need to put the windows in round here as the next operation. I'll just get up my other drawing so I can see where those windows are and what they are. Just pause it. Okay, what we've got here is the elevation of that. That's a 2,000 wide by 600 high window. For my purposes, all I'm going to do is cut a hole in, in my... Uh, ah, that's a point. That's got to have cladding all over it. The same cladding as that. That's a pain. Never mind. So. And we go from the front. Looking from the front. And we just draw a box. At. 2,000. By 600. And we'll make that 500 high. It doesn't matter because it's just going to take things our way. And remove from. Move that one. And midpoint of that. Pop them on there like that. See now, we need to find.
and the top, the floor. Where's the floor gone? This is the trouble with having too much. So if we QF, all this roof business, maybe a bit of the cladding. See, uh, yeah, there it is. There, that there is the floor. So we need to be pull that up two thousand. That window needs to come down, so it's two thousand. Yeah, so now that's at the right height. And the first floor framing, I think that's one. Yeah, there it is. We just I've turned that layer off. Um, rid of this framing of that. See now that that thing there is there. So that's that's all good. So while we're here, we could um, use that shape to our advantage. So we know we're going to have windows all around this damn thing. So if I isolate that layer there, and we've got all our, our darling roof. Um, maybe I should put um, one for first floor studs. <sighs> Too many layers. Well, I don't know. Hang on a minute while I create a layer. Okay, what I've done here is I've created another layer called for first floor studs. And that's so we can see what's going on with this. And we've got windows all around this. So all we have to do is change the size of that um, as we go around like that. So i uh, draw a line, polyline from here, to, just so I can get the centre. I want that. Centre of that. Centre of that. So I get, do an array. So, dash AR. And we wanted a polar array. Centre point just makes life easy. Number of items. Three, three, six, eight. There's eight of them. Get a card. Can't be right, can it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight. And got to fill the whole thing. So there we are. Get rid of that for a meaning time. So that one's eight, 2,000 wide, but these guys are not. They are looking like little ones on this side. So let's go to the floor plan. Little ones, they're only a thousand by six high, um, thousand wide. So that guy and that guy will make them, oh I've got the properties dialog box, here we go. Uh, where's it gone? Make that one thousand. Makes life easy, doesn't it? Okay, so I'm just going to, that's how I change the properties of, of things. And then we've got the floor plan. And that's 1800 high, question mark. And that's 600 high there. So 600 and 1800. So bring that one, 1600 high. No, 1800 high, sorry. Yeah, I put the wrong thing, didn't I? Never mind. That should be 1800. Now he's, he's flopped down, so he'll get to get trapped 